Peace and blessings, everybody. And I do mean that. Peace and blessings. How y'all doing? Good morning. I just got a couple of things to say real quick. A couple of things. I'm going to just wait for everybody to get in. Do me a favor and just wave. Say hello. Let me know you in there. How are y'all doing today? What's going on? Everybody's coming in there little by little. Okay, we'll talk to the two people that are sitting there then. Oh, the three. How you doing, Sassy? I'm just had a I'm doing just fine. I had a really long day today, and I, so I haven't really gotten a chance to get online or whatever. But then when I do get online, I get I got an inbox full of drama. Y'all know how I feel about the drama. Not into the drama, so I don't even know why people send the drama my way, because I'm not into the drama at all. And I just got a whole inbox full of drama. Just basically sad stuff from us. And I, I just want to speak to our people real quick. You know, and also just to the um, let y'all know that my energy is still the same way. If y'all follow me on YouTube, my channel on YouTube, you'll still see that my energy is not anything with the drama because I got a whole inbox. Like, like my inbox, my DMs is like full of videos of um, the drama, and I don't understand. Like we got drama in real life and in literal life, and then here we go with drama online too. And I know it's plenty of people that don't even know. You know, whoever these people are that they having a the drama with, they probably don't even know them. They just know them from only being online. Can y'all hear me okay? Let me know if y'all can hear me, please. Please let me know if you can hear me. I appreciate if you do. Good. Thank you so much. So, um, I do want to let y'all know, first and foremost, that... um. My energy is still the same for um, my community. Like I said, if y'all if y'all follow me on YouTube, you can see that I have been posting about um, you know the carb. I don't post directly things about carbonation what they got going on. I do post everything pertaining to the children, the domestic violence, anything had to do with pedophilia, um, anything pertaining to that. Those are the things that I focus on as far as um, the carbonation and Elysio that situation i don't care about the rest of the stuff so there's no need for people to even send me any of the drama um so understand that the information that i posted i do have a couple of extra numbers in there that i did post and i do have to let y'all know the other day when we were actually i was actually making phone calls if y'all were up here i actually made phone calls um i made phone calls online just to show you guys that hey look these phone calls need to be made and so forth and we need to keep on reaching out to the proper authorities sending these emails and so forth as far as these babies are are concerned because the babies are still over there you feel me because that's what i'd be thinking about i'd be like yo why everybody in there drama and everything and people beefing about whatever is going on online and everything and you know it's people that are surrounded around this this elysio carbonation thing understand why the, everybody are do, is doing all of this arguing and all this drama. Them babies still over there, y'all. Them babies still over there. So I feel like instead of y'all sitting online with the drama and everything, I, I don't, it, it doesn't matter what's really happening, though, because my thing is those kids are still over there. These people, these mentally ill people are still over there. We still have people going over there into this situation. And my thing is, why are we, why is anybody even online arguing and everything? I'm not getting that. I, I understand that. We got this mental illness and we need to clean this mental illness up and I'm not understanding why aren't we getting it. We can't even come together online. People are literally online beefing online with drama. When we got a whole lot of people, this this dude is taking our people over to the to a whole somewhere else. You feel me? They're taking he's taking these people, he's contacting our young adults that are over here you feel me they're little babies that are going over there there's little babies that are being born over there but yet we 
And I do say we, even though I don't get into the drama and everything, but I do say we, we as a people, we're on the line, big, we're on line bickering, okay? We are always made a mockery. They, everybody, every other nationality makes a mockery of black people. Why are we still doing this? And even online, we're doing this. This is, this is a, a mental illness, okay? We need to wake up out of this mental illness and move past that. It's okay, Unity. We need to move past this arguing and this bickering. I mean, we, that means we know how it is in your real life. You feel me? We under we know how it is in your real life. If you're bickering and arguing, I'm doing good. Thanks so ask for asking, dude. Thanks so much. How y'all feeling today? Cause I'm I'm good. You know, I'm good. I just happened to get that. Um, I don't know why everybody sends me that stuff because I'm not interested in that. I might be a little tilted for a minute here. I don't know why everybody sends it to me because I'm not I'm not the type of person that's interested in the drama. I just don't I don't do the drama, period, point blank. It doesn't it don't it don't move me. What's moving me right now is the fact that those babies are still over there and if anybody really got a heart about these kids and you got a heart about your black community, what you gonna be doing is concentrating on trying to get this mess offline, trying to figure out a way to get them babies from over there if we can. That's what we're concentrating on. That's what we should be concentrating on. We should not be concentrating on the, the bickering. I don't care how big your channel is and everything. That's the only thing. The person, the dude, Elysio, needs to be in jail. The people that are um, in the situation with him, they need to be in getting some type of help. And the kids need to be rescued from over there. I've been making phone calls. And actually, last night, y'all, you guys gave me the number for, you gave me the information for, what's her name? Um, Tokyo Tony, Tanya Tokyo or something like that. Um... You guys gave me that information. I emailed, I wrote it down, and I got my tablet in there. But I emailed probably about four people. I didn't call the Breakfast Club because I called them and I never got a message back. But I did make some phone calls. I sent off some emails. I'm going to tell you what the girl um, that y'all, y'all referred me to call her. What was her name? Knockout, Total Knockout, Tony? or t Yeah, her. Contacted her. She emailed me back right away this morning. I got an email back from her. But she said she doesn't want to get involved with it. Okay, and I feel like the reason why a lot of people don't want to get involved with some of this situation is because of the bickering that the smaller channels are doing online. Okay, we're bickering about BS online. They're looking at this because when, when I told her about it and I asked her, would she mind putting, yeah, Tanya TKO, I asked her, would she mind putting this out on her channel just so we can spread their awareness and we can get our people from, you know, the young adults from going over there. No, we may not be able to shut the whole thing down right now, but we would like to get it offline. And I feel like if it's somebody with a bigger voice, bigger platform and everything, then maybe they can help to get the mess shut down offline. But she did want to be involved with it, okay? So that was my email to her. I'm waiting for a couple of other emails because you guys gave me a couple of more people to um, reach out to. And I did reach out to them. Um, I've been reaching out. I don't know about y'all, but I like to always tell people to undo your fist, the pump in the fist for the black power and dial a number, okay? Just um, challenge yourself just to dial one number a day. The people that are online bickering and everything, challenge yourself. Yeah, I've seen that too. Challenge yourself to dial a number versus online bickering, okay? You got big platforms. And the people that are bickering have huge platforms. They can speak to a lot of people. And I feel like they have other connections and everything. And, I, I like, I don't have that many people, especially, like, on this right here. On, um, what, what is this? Instagram. I don't have as many people on this. But my thing is we're, um supposed to be trying to get this offline we should be concentrated on those babies over there we should be concentrated on our black community um nobody's ever going to take us seriously if we don't even stop the little baby bullshit bickering that we have going on online right now i mean i understand they're upset with fundy but i'm like for what i don't get it i don't get it because i mean you're upset with her for what she been said a long time ago that she was collecting money to um she said she was collecting money so that she could help her community out she didn't have a vehicle she's supposed to be helping them with gardening and everything or whatever but it doesn't matter i mean that's her channel if they decided to donate to her and she bought her a vehicle then oh well i mean i don't understand what that has to do with the next person the babies are the ones that we need to be concerned about thank you queen i'm not understanding that we're supposed to be queens and kings and we're acting like peasants online you feel me nobody ain't gonna ever take us seriously 
because this is the way that this is our behavior okay we can look at it right now and see our behavior just because of everything right now going on online i get i get to open up my phone and boom i have a whole bunch of um bs drama and it's like wow my people my people we need to wake up but it's such a deep deep illness i mean the thing about it people scam period anyway you feel me if you ain't in that scam, if that's, that scam has nothing to do with you, you feel me? If you're not involved with that behavior, then what you need to be doing is concentrating on these babies. Concentrating on our community. You know, it's, it's no need to bicker about that. That's her channel. If she collected whatever money that she collected for whatever she collected it for, that's her business. I don't feel like it's nobody else's business. If she wanted to um, put out there where she got her money from, her, her people, or that's how they donated to her because that's what they wanted to do. What can you do about that? It ain't helping the kids out. I mean, for, for you to bicker with them, they're, you're not helping the kids out. You feel me? That's not helping our community out by sitting up there bickering with your, your king or your queen. We're supposed to be kings and queens, and we're handling ourselves like peasants. And that's the reason why these bigger um, platforms and everything, they're not paying um, us no attention, you know? I'm emailing people. I'm making these phone calls and everything. But guarantee you, they're watching us online. Understand that. They're watching us online. They're watching all the bickering. They're watching all this disgusting behavior. They're watch watching all this childish behavior. You know? It's very childish. It's very embarrassing. And we should be ashamed. We should be very ashamed. Um, we need to learn how to act. Okay? It's like, why show off in front of them? We're showing up. You know, I don't know if y'all grew up, but I was always told, don't show up in front of company. Because that's exactly what's going on right now. Everybody's showing off online. People can't hold their composure. Yeah, the thing about it, you don't want to. That's why I don't get sucked into that. And I appreciate nobody even sending me that. Because I don't get into the drama. It's no need for me to get into the drama. Because guess what? Anytime somebody come up on any one of my platforms with any drama, I'm going to let them know. Hey, I'm all about them numbers. I'm all about calling these numbers, getting these numbers called, getting the proper information sent down to these um, to the proper authorities, which the young lady, um, Tanya TKO, she was like, you need to send that information to the FBI or whatever. I want to get it bought. Which I understand that and everything. But I feel like they're not going to get involved because we're not truly involved. You feel me? We're not. A lot of us are not truly involved. A lot of us are not truly woke. So when you are still sleeping and think that you're woke, but you're, you, you can't be woke if you're busy bickering with somebody about what somebody else got. You feel me? I ain't got nothing to do with that. And that person, the other person ain't got nothing to do with it either. It's whatever she collected, that's her business. You feel me? Too bad she put it out there so it, it rattled up some emotions from people. I don't, we have a crab in the barrel type um, mentality. It's always been that way. That is a, another part of our mental illness that we do need to get rid of because it's sickening. Okay? We need help and we can't start helping um, unless we start digging from within. That's what we're going to have to do. Yeah, the thing about it is that's the only way that they're going to even say anything. When everybody's going to start investigating for real and really getting into it when there's really some drama, I feel like what people need to do is go ahead and start calling those numbers that I've been putting out. I've been doing it. I do a lot of research, you feel me? I do a lot of research. I, I speak with a lot of people. Um, I send off a lot of emails. I, I do a lot when it comes down to trying to pull in information for my people so that you guys will have numbers and if you ever want to know where the numbers and everything are at just go to my page on youtube you can find my link in this bio click on that link you will see my the information in my description and you'll see it also pinned in my comments that's where my information is my my platforms are not for um people that are with the drama you know, if you want to see drama, it's more, it's better for you to go to somebody else. It's my, my platform will probably be boring to most people. You feel me? That's what mine, mine will be boring because I'm not going to be up here talking about the bickering, the bullshit that's not going to help us in our community. That's what's tearing our community down. And then we have to understand also, this is a distraction. All this bickering and stuff, that you best believe. Elysio is sitting back laughing and he was like that's why y'all need to be over here at carbonation but it's like one poison to the next poison you feel me so so it's like we got to do better 
Y'all, y'all people with these big platforms, y'all looking real ignorant. You're arguing about somebody else's money. You feel me? That's what she decided to do with her money. It doesn't matter. If her people not mad with her that's on her platform to support her, that's her business. Okay? That's her and her platform business. Big deal. You arguing with her and everything, it's not helping. Um, With the Breakfast Club, I didn't get anything back from that. Actually, I was told there was like Charlemagne is a, is a demon himself, and he's he's a he's a rapist or something like that. And it was like not to um contact him, so I just took that number off of my um page. I still have the information for the um. I have a lot of information, a lot of numbers. If you guys, when you go onto my page, you have to make sure that you scroll. And there's so much information in my um my description. It's in my description. Or is it going to be pinned in them comments? You have to scroll. There's plenty of information. That's why I'd be like, challenge yourself just to dial one number a day. Yeah, they they may not. I don't know because nobody ever called me back from there. Okay? And if it's only one person calling and if it's only a couple of people that's really interested, it's not going to help. You feel me? You got to have more than just us. You know, because I feel like the people that got a whole bunch of followers and everything. If your followers are all that. And your followers care about your mission or whatever. And your mission is supposed to be about our black community, about these babies out here, um, about these young adults that are going over there. We want to catch them before they go over there. You feel me? That's what we want to do. We want to get them before they go over there, not once they're over there and there's nothing that we can do. We want to start working with our community now. Okay? We don't want to be sitting online. So if you have all these followers... Convince your followers to dial a number. You feel me? You can get all them numbers right off of my page. Just go to my page. Convince your followers to dial a number instead of sitting up there arguing and bickering with people. It's not going to help the situation. It makes you look ignorant online. It makes us look like the us that they put us out here to be. Ignorant. You know? Stabbing each other in the back. Calling each other names. You know? That's not a good look. That's not how kings and queens act. That's how peasants act. That's exactly how peasants act. And what you want to do instead of, you want to start reconditioning your your mindset. Okay, that's what you have to do. You have to recondition your mindset. You can't worry about what the next person is doing. What is that? Yeah, I have that number up there too. Thank you, um... Thank you, um, me. me. What is that? Meow Marble. Thank you so much for posting that in the chat. Understand again, like I said, you can find all of that information on my page. Who worship D, 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 D. I don't know what that one is right there. Which baby are you talking about? How what baby looks? Um, Elysio's baby? What do I think about how his baby looks? The baby never smiles. If that's the one you're talking about, the baby never smiles. Um, she looks healthier than what she had been looking. That's what I do know. Um, I just know, honestly, she doesn't need to be over there with them. That's what I do know. Yeah, I mean, it's sad that that the situation is like it is. Now, the other baby, the other baby, I don't see anything that looks bad about those two babies. I just know that they don't need to be in the environment that he has said that he has out there. That's what I, I feel. They don't need to be in the environment. We need to be concentrated on the kids. There's no reason we should be on the line bickering and arguing and fussing. And I, I mean, I shouldn't answer. Like, this is the second day in a row. I pick up my phone and boom, there's people sending me stuff that somebody else is doing. Like, some, like us. You feel me? Us. It's not some other nationality. It's us. Beating each other up. Bickering with each other. And for what? Because that's not going to help anything that we are doing. Our mission is supposed to be to spread awareness. What are you guys doing spreading awareness about how much you can you can offer in your community as far as arguing and bickering, calling the next female a bitch, calling the next um, king or, or whatever? I mean, come on, a nigga, all of this. I mean, come on. It's so sad. It's so sad. Um, That's S.L. Davis. She be on it. You feel me? These are the people that don't get called out. The people like that. Like, I know I don't get called out. Don't nobody recognize. It's only been a couple of people to recognize me. But um, the people, I know S.L. Davis, she definitely be on it. Um, they, they put the information out, you know. Um, I know Grand Grand, she be on it. They put the information out. I don't see any bickering and stuff going on on their channels. I see them putting out things that's going to help. I don't see anything about the bickering. So, I mean, that's what we need to 
concentrate on. There's, I mean, there's, we didn't have enough time to be bickering with each other, each other, y'all. That's what I look at. We didn't have enough time for that. Enough time. You, you can't hold your head up and feel proud of yourself if you're doing bullshit like that. And it reflects on all of us. It don't reflect only on just that person that's doing it. It's a reflection of all of us. We've been doing this for way too long. Way too long. It's a waste of energy. You are so right, Cosmic. And then, the, and then the thing about it is it goes on and it goes on and on and on and on. And it's like, for what? Nobody's going on and on about these kids. I don't see that. Because when I seen the video today, it was like everybody was concentrated on the kids. Everybody did feel some type of way about the kids. It says, can you do YouTube and IG at the same time? I believe you can. I just haven't got all into the grips of doing all of that. that Sunday, I had like three different platforms on three different devices going on. Um... I forgot what I was saying. But the thing about it is that we got to do better. Okay? I'm going to keep on saying that to my people. My black, beautiful, melanated people. We have to do better. Spreading awareness is not spreading a bunch of negativity. Bickering and arguing. We're supposed to be thinking about these babies. Yeah, that's what they're doing. I think a lot of people are getting caught up in the money part of the situation. Like, I don't get anything for what I do. I never expected anything for what I do. You feel me? What I do is from my heart, I told you, I let you guys know already that I have a niece that I'm going through a situation with now too. You feel me? So I, this is something that hits close to home. We have a lot of this stuff going on with our kids and our community. Well, people don't care because it's just another little black girl or it's just another little black boy. So people not really caring about our situations because we don't really care about our situation. We can't stay focused because the drama, we love the drama. We got to get away from the drama, y'all. The drama is not helping our people out. It's just making us look real stupid. It makes us look real ignorant. And it's, it's more like, dang, they got this. They really got kids off somewhere else in a whole other country. They got people going over, people bringing a whole bunch of people. Yeah, he's doing that, and we're allowing it. You feel me? We're allowing it. And, and they're looking at us. We, we look like spectacles. You feel me? This is what we're supposed to be trying to shut down. This shit, like, I don't like having to do these videos about this. I never was doing videos like this on a regular basis. You feel me? I run a business. I took my business page down for my niece so that I could dedicate that to only to my niece. I have a, a page on Facebook that's dedicated totally to my niece. So that means I have lost revenue because I took my business down and I'm dedicating it to my niece. That's been for, all, for since September of last year now. You feel me? And so this right here, I'm doing this right here too you feel me this is for my community this is what i can give back to my community because sometimes we need to be told hey wake up black people wake up black people because a lot of y'all that say y'all walk or sleep very sleep there's no way you can make it or we can make it as a people if we're still doing ignorant things as we're doing okay what happened to my niece and i do have a picture in my she's highlighted so i have a um a, lo a while ago, this was like some years back, probably like seven years, my niece has been legally missing. I have to say legally. She's been legally missing, right? Um, the young lady that took her, she grew up with our family. So she basically took off with my niece, and we have not been able to find her for seven years. I just located her on Monday of last week with the help of one of the people on uh, online because of the simple fact that families don't be caring about their their people these days families don't care the community don't care it's because we busy with drama we busy we can we can stir up some drama it's not her mother it's somebody that grew up with our family she grew up as a cousin and she turned on us and snatched the baby up we've been looking her for her for seven years i located her through defects she has an open case with defects so that's that's how it happened so you know i've been dedicating my time this isn't anything new that i'm doing as far as dedicating my time you feel me? I'm doing this because of the simple fact that we got an issue in our community. You feel me? We have an issue. We have an um, issue where we turn our backs. We tuck things up under the rug. We don't say anything about things that's going on. But the only thing that we do do very well is we like to investigate after the fact. He said, why don't you fly to her and take 
as, oh, I'm, I'm about, I just, re, I just located it. I couldn't go on something and not know what was going on. I couldn't just fly out to wherever and not know where she was at. So, yeah, I'm getting ready to start making my moves to do what I have to do to get my niece out of the situation that she's in. Like I said, you can actually see a picture on my um, page of my niece. She's in, she's highlighted. She's 11 years old. All right. So, yeah, that's the thing about it. I'm trying to spread the awareness. I need our people to wake up. I need our people to stop looking like spectacles because they're looking at us. You feel me? They look at us in literal life, and now they're looking at us online, and we're acting like a bunch of damn fools. We need more people to, to come together and be on that same frequency of understanding that we have to go back to loving one another. Go back to loving one another. And yeah, it's a lot of people that are still asleep. It's so many people that still sleep. And they think they woke, but they not. They not woke. And it's sad. Because if they were woke, they would be concentrating on the big the big thing. The big thing is our community is getting jacked up more and more every single day. Social media doesn't help because we're just, you know, people are up here because, I, I don't know, maybe people like to look at themselves or whatever. Maybe people like to hear themselves talk. But when you're talking about bullshit and you're not talking about anything that can help out our community, it, it, you're right. It doesn't help. Social media doesn't help. So I just wanted to, you know, just, just give a message to the people. Um conscious community is not about that life some people I, I think that the people that are saying they're conscious are the ones that are busy sleeping because they're to me those are the ones that's online with the bullshit um it's like so many people that are connecting to the connected to this situation you know that you didn't even know they were connected to it it's like right exactly you're right cosmic i was thinking the same thing we're not using this platform, right? This is the very first time we've ever been able to have a word, or a word, put our word up, voice, and then this is what we use it for. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm take action as soon as possible. Simply, I definitely am. I, I'm 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 getting ready to fly out and do what I have to do as far as getting my niece. I, I really am. It's it's really it's it's been it's been a really long process. It's been a very draining, stressful process. I feel like this situation was put here for me for a reason. I was already dealing with my niece, and this right here, um, it just came upon me all of a sudden. This was not planned. My YouTube channel with that, it was not planned. You feel me? I made that one video because it touched my heart about them babies being out there like that and people just being taken advantage. And then the video just like went, you know, a lot of people saw it, a lot of people were coming. Ever since then, I've been doing videos. So ever since those babies got taken out there, I have done a video every single day since then every day sometimes it's maybe more than one video a day but i've done it every single day because my energy has not changed the same way it hasn't changed for my niece it's not going to change for my community either it's like we got to keep our we have to wake up the people in our community and um waking up is not online bickering it's not online fighting with the next king or the next queen it's not online making fun making a mockery of ourselves Yeah, we don't know what they're going through over there. You're right. And with us sitting up here doing the things that we're doing on the line, it's, it's, it's a big distraction. And it just makes us look, I mean, to me, it just makes us look very ignorant. Our people are so lost. Our people are so lost and so sleep. So lost and so sleep. I just try to keep it real. I'm very, I'm a very literal person. Very literal, you know. I don't got time for the drama, so my brother's sorry. That's what he's at, busy being sorry. That's what he's done. He's been sorry. He's always got an excuse, and that's the reason why my niece has been in a situation that she's in. Because when you don't stand up for your family members, and then you don't have other elder mother sorry as hell too. It happened because they weren't being good parents. They weren't being good parents. We have a lot of that going on in our black community where people don't care about their kids. You feel me? They just don't care. They have kids and don't care about them. Well, I care, and I have. I've been doing everything I possibly can, and it took me a long time to find her. And I didn't find her until this situation came up on, on, on um, YouTube when I made that video. 
Yeah, I'm glad that I, she has me and my niece. That's why I said I'm gonna leave a footprint. My niece gonna know. Hey, my auntie was was trying her best to find me. I I make a phone call to her every single Sunday. Every Sunday I make a phone call to my niece. Yeah, it's it's a um. That's why I said it's a sickness. It's a sickness that we have. It's passed down from generation to generation. There, it's a bad sickness that we have. Because everybody, you know, usually they tell us to, you know, when, when things are going on, they tell us basically to, you know, t tuck it up under the rug. Be quiet about it. Don't worry about saying anything about it. It's no big deal. Your uncle touched you. Your dad touched you. Shut up. Tuck that shit up under the rug. So that's the reason why we're like we are. Because we've become so desensitized. We've been very desensitized. And so people don't really care about what's going on in our black community. And it's a generational curse. And we got to realize that's what that's the reason why we act like we do. That's why I say I, I'm not mad at nobody because I know what foundation that we have. I know the foundation that we've been put out. And then you have to start. Un it, believe me, I've had a plenty of cry time for real. I'm so drained from this. From both of the situations has drained the shit out of me. Yeah, I'm sure it's a whole bunch of us that's traumatized from, yeah. It's probably a whole bunch of us that's very traumatized from keeping things in, having to deal with them mentally, psychologically. You just never know how those type of things affect you. That's why I love on mine, you feel me? I love on my baby. And and you have to continue. Love has no expiration date. That's the reason why I be asking the people that do have the family members out there to reach out to your family. Reach out to your family. Let them know you love them. It's it's okay that they may have some things going on and they did some crap over there that they're not very you know happy about. Or they're you know not happy, but they they don't feel good to share it with everybody. You know, there's a lot of stuff that that people go through, but you, we still have to, as a community, as families, you know, as a black community, we still gotta let each other know that we love each other. It's not going to start with us bickering and beating each other up on online. Especially when we're supposed to be having some type of movement. And I'm seeing everybody chaotic as soon as I pick up my phone when I get through with my day. That's what I'm seeing. Chaotic stuff going on. Y'all don't send me that drama because I don't want that drama. I've already told them from the start. I don't get into the drama. I believe it is some type of experiment and we're falling very horrible very horrible we we get caught up with the money and whatever money that people are making online with this i don't know what money they're making because I, I i'm not getting any of it but um all that mess is bull is bull we got to do better we have to do better but um this is not going to be a very long live but i definitely want to let y'all know to please um you know check into my my um youtube like i said the link is there in my um bio um, you'll find plenty of numbers. I just challenge everybody to please dial a number. Please think about your community. If you are saying uh, one of the people that have like been like, well, there's plenty of people that's going through this and that. Why are you trying to worry about those people? My answer to that, if you know there's plenty of people that are going through this and going through that, help those people out. You know, help those kids out. If you've been one of those people that turn your backs on a kid when you see and you know that there's something going on with the kid and you know the kid can't speak out i feel like use those numbers those numbers and resources are not just specific for this situation those numbers and resources can be used in any situation if you want to start reaching out in your community this is what we have to do you have to start with yourself you have to start with your go to your you know yourself your family and your community these are the things that you have to do if you want to make a change and now it looks like, um, and you know, when we have our community online, that means that you we need to, this is the reason why I'm putting this out. You feel me? I've seen another king that they putting out a video about it. Because it does make you mad. People that are woke and that are, that are, that understand what's going on, it, it, may, it upsets you. But see, I don't, I don't, I just don't react to certain things like that because I, I see the sickness that we have going on. I see the sickness in our community that we have going on. It's been that way. It's generational. It's not going to be, um, it's not going to be fixed overnight. It's going to take, it's going to take some unity and it's going to take a group effort. We are us and therefore we must 
stand by each other. We can't be like, you know, we can't be taken by the distractions because what's going on right now online, that's a big distraction. You feel me? It's a big distraction when we know that we have kids that are getting taken from over here to over there. You got babies over there. Um, you got Olivia. She's she's what five years old. You got Shane. He's three. You got the two little babies, baby Eliana, and then I don't know what the little the other little baby. You got those babies over there. Okay, these babies are over there with rapists. They're over there with pedophiles. They're over there with prostitution. They're over there with people that's running from the law. They're over there with domestic abuse. They're over there with so many things, and then we have to. Think about that. When people are sitting up here with all this drama and everything, y'all not thinking about them babies over there. I don't care what none of them people say. Any of them people that got them big platforms and they busy, that's right. And then they got people that's being born over there, two people that are sick. You feel me? People that definitely have diseases. And they're not getting those kids taken checked out. They're not getting them checked out. Because they don't believe in all of that, remember? So you just got this whole poison in our community and people in our community want to sit online we we sitting online watching this stuff and this is the reason why i continuously do these videos we're sitting online watching what's going on but we're bickering we got so much drama black people we need to wake up the drama got to go because that's what we love to do we love the drama and we like to investigate after the fact that, that's backwards that's a generational curse and we got to wake up from the bull Okay, mm -hmm. so like I said, the information y'all go to my YouTube. If you're not on my um my YouTube, do me a favor, go up there, um, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to start doing my my lives. I do my lives up here so I can transfer them over to my YouTube. So that's what I've been doing lately. But I'm I'm constantly trying to put out the information so that we can know because a lot of us don't read. We don't research and so forth. So that's what I've been taking my time out to do. This is what I'm doing for my community. You feel me? So what I can tell you guys, find out what you can do for your community. Yeah, that's that's right. The little girl, Malia um, Davis. That's that's That comes from not caring about your kids. You feel me? When she, if she was already getting beat up and her um, the, the dude was already beating her up and then you he beating up your little girl. Why your little girl all the way somewhere else with this man? And you somewhere else? Why? Why was that? Even, why did that even happen? Why did that even happen? It happened because we got a mental illness in our community. Well, unity. I feel like if you want to be a foster parent, and you can do that, I feel like you need to do that. You feel me? Whatever you can do, black people, to reach out in your community. All the kings and the queens. We need to start acting like it. The ones of us that's really woke. You feel me? The other ones, we got to start working on them. That's the ones that got to be worked on. Yeah, I, I just really, I hate the, the stuff that happens to these babies. But it's all because of the fact that there's a mental illness in our community. And until we start um, concentrating and focusing and remembering, then it's going to continue like this. And we have to realize that we were a foundation. This foundation, people that's in their age range, you know, like I say like 35 and up, in that age range, we, that's a foundation right there. You see what happened with this foundation. So now what we have, we have to work with our babies that we have. These, this is our foundation now. These young adults is coming up. That's a foundation. We're not going to stay the same age. We're going to need a foundation, a strong foundation. So this is what you start doing. You start instilling this into your children. You start instilling this foundation, this strong foundation into your communities, your families. I always say over and over again, we got to go back to where the grandparents are involved, the mothers, the fathers are involved, the, the aunties, the uncles, the cousins, the nieces, the nephews, you know, everybody being involved, not just not just um, some people and not just like family members that spread it all over everywhere. I had um, graduations go on in my family today. You think I knew anything about it until I seen the pictures on Facebook? didn't know because our family don't get down like that we're not close we're not a unit it's so many people that can have so many corporations we got businesses you know people have huge families when people be complaining about not having this and not having that if we instill better foundations in our families in our communities black people wouldn't have to struggle as hard as they do we wouldn't but black people struggle a lot because we put ourselves in a struggle and we have fallen for what they want us to do. You feel me? So until we start changing that, 
within ourselves first, your families, and then your communities, it's going to stay the same, people. All that bickering and stuff, like I said, don't DM me that bickering and stuff because I'm not going to look at it. I don't take that type of energy in. I just seen a little bit of something today. Yeah, we don't work together. We tear each other down together. That's one thing. If it was about being divided and we as much energy as we put into being divided, oh, my gosh. Things would be great if we put in all that energy as to, you know, being together. Unity. I am still. You fighting for reparations? I know that's right. Well, I say people that be saying I'm moving in silence, at this point, I say fuck moving in silence. You start, you need to start making some noise, you feel me? Because that's what I do. I make noise. I don't sit back and move in silence because I think that's a way for people to be, um, black people to move and move in silence for real, basically not be doing anything. You feel me? It's time to stop that moving in silence thing. Um, so like I said, if you see, if you know of a kid or whatever, you you know you that person because a lot of us are guilty of it because we've been taught that way. That you turn your back on a kid when you know that there's something going down with this kid. You know there's some abuse going down. They're being mistreated or whatever. Start using some of the resources that I have. Um, I have there on my um, YouTube page. Do that for me. Ch challenge yourself to dial a number. Um, if you care about the um, kids over there and and um, carbonation, those poor little babies that's over there, if you care about them, send off some information. Like my um, the video clips that I have on my page in that playlist, that right there has a bunch of clips of different things that can most definitely incriminate. These videos have to continuously be sent, okay? You don't, need to, you don't have to send anything that has um, commentary over it. Just send the, the, the clip. I have some clips on my page. And I'm probably going to go back and put more clips up there and, you know, redo some of the clips that I do have up there. Because I may have some commentary up there. But um, we need to get the call offline. You feel me? That's what that's what I'm, that's my main thing as far as this online thing is to take the call offline. I do have a Jim Jones thing up there, too. And I compare. Um, somebody sent me a great video of the comparisons between um, Jim Jones and Elysia. My um, YouTube name is Dion Fields. But if you click on that link on my... Um, my in my bio on this Instagram, then you'll actually see my um link there. It'll connect you right to my playlist. It's called Melanated Awareness. But you can find me under Dion Fields if you decide not to click the link. But it's real easy just to click that link, and it's very easy for us to people to just go ahead and make sure that we do research. We start reading. If anybody has any other numbers that may be able to help us out as far as this situation is concerned, or as far as your community is concerned, I mean, if it, is there some help that you need to put within your family? You need some type, and you you know that you have some information about that as far as families, our black families that which we need to instill in it. Send that information to me. You can always DM me. Just. Don't DM me with the drama, because I ain't in for that drama. Like, I won't even online and stuff like this, y'all. If I did anything online, it was because I was doing it because of my business, and that is it. So I don't get into drama. I don't even get in drama in real life. I love my community. I love my people. So I don't have time for that type of energy to be taken from me on some, some drama. It just saddens me so much. Thank you, but it saddens me so much to to see the people up here doing like they do. So, yeah, get y'all some sage. And I told y'all there's a um I don't know if y'all seen my video from yesterday, but they have something else. It's called um sweet grass. That's very good for cleansing too. I have to definitely. Cleanse a lot. It's not burning. I had to I cleanse. Uh, I had to cleanse a lot. You should got me the whole thing, the whole one of the whole leaves. It's um, what it does is it's a cleansing for you, and I have to do a lot of cleansing with this type of energy around me on a regular basis. Just recently, I have to do a lot of you know cleansing. You feel me? So I sage it up all the time. I don't. This isn't burning right now but you gotta 
this let me show y'all this sweet grass and it smells so good this is like a this is a cleansing this is what it looks like clean your clean your your the energy away and you see that if y'all can smell it yeah i got sage too i need that other sage this one seems like it might have been wet but y'all see this right here if y'all can smell it oh my goodness it smells so good and you can burn it like take little pieces of it and burn it you can take the stilts off and just burn it the sage is um it's good too i love my sage love my sage let me see love the sage and i'm gonna try to see if i can find different sages or whatever to the burn but when you are um when you have this type of energy around you that's why i don't look at any of the videos that are um that um Elysio puts out I'm not somebody sent me a video of him talking on a live I don't want him to think that he's important enough for me to speak to him I mean to even watch him let alone speak to him because I know it's a lot of people to be trying to interview him interview him for what um usually let me say I get mine from this extensive store like um you can order it offline but I think like Sage you have to like really go go to oh the sweet grass now the sweet grass, I got that from, you know those like holistic stores. It's sweet, like sweet. The sweet smells, it's sweet. Um, um, like a lot of the holistic stores, you can buy those, buy it from there. The sweet grass, and I mean I know y'all know where you can get sage from. Sage you usually can get that from anywhere, but you want to make sure that you are a lot people need to maybe stop taking in that and that whatever he's putting out you probably don't want to be looking at his videos and everything because it seemed like with him being you know the dude got some type of some type of power that he probably should have used in a good way and he decided not to use it in a good way so the thing about it is that you want to don't take that type of energy in if you are trying to look at his videos i mean he's he's it's garbage you feel me it's garbage it's like garbage in garbage out don't even let the garbage in you feel me stay away from all of that yeah i, I love that like i got some other um incense i just i have to do this on a regular basis so i got another type of incense that i that are very, very good to um I don't know what he got going on with that that right there, but all I know is I I cannot understand how our people, our young adults, what is that? Is it a fly in here? Our people are the young kids. Like, why? What is what's going on with them breaking their necks to get over there to do to um to get with somebody that has has disease? That's crazy. See this right here, that's another one right there. These are incense. And these these are really good too. Myrrh is good. You're right, myrrh is good too. We like that. That's not an elephant. That's a giraffe. Elephants are in the bathroom. Did you hang that other picture up? Yeah, but those are having good symbols in your house brings good. Yeah, you just want to keep all the bad energy away from you so i wouldn't if i was y'all i wouldn't be taking in any of that stuff that he's putting out i wouldn't be looking at his videos or none of that if i searched for him it would be just because i'm trying to find something on him which i say i have taken clips out of things that i have found that will incriminate him that is it i don't look at none of his stuff i don't care about what dude got to say because anything anytime that you can molest a child or have a child play with your penis whatever that mean you can't say nothing else to me then. How you doing, my cautious? Anybody else that's coming? And yeah, hello, how y'all doing? I hope y'all had a blessed day. I hope y'all gonna have a blessed evening. But um, anything that if if somebody does anything to endanger a child, you can't talk to me. There's nothing that you can say to me. Nothing at all. You can't teach me. Shit. Somebody told me in one of the videos, they was like, well, you just got to separate the message from the messenger. Nah. 
a messenger that can um karma child you can't tell me anything there's nothing that you can tell me period point blank i'm over you stop lying yeah i think it's better just to buy the um natural products there's no need to buy the um aerosols and everything we know that's not good that's why i said we need to get back to us we got to go back to the earth you know nature is wonderful nature is wonderful thank you um caution nature is beautiful nature is wonderful but we don't want to take it from no false prophet just like you said that's that's the best word right there cosmic a false prophet we don't want to take anything from someone like that. We don't want to pull that energy into our house. Let me see that lighter again. We don't want that energy to come into our homes. We don't want them to our um, to go to our children. None of that. You want to keep that stuff away. This dude got, got a whole lot of kids, young adults, coming his way. Oh, okay. So you said knock this. Let me see that um that that thing that I had in here. The um the tray. What is that? The tray. Yeah. Who is it? That the, that silver thing. She said knock this up and it'll burn better. I kind of like been piecing it off too, and that that seems like it makes it burn good too. But see, I think this piece right here. I got a new a new bundle too. That dude ain't teaching. You know what he doing? He teaches the, whatever he's teaching, he does it upside down. That's what he does. He does it upside down, inside out. Whatever he's doing, he's doing it on purpose. You have to understand. He like teaches what benefits him. Yeah, like some people say, um, some things are planted there for a reason. So that's the only reason why I'm like, let's let's get it offline. Us, we not going to to get nothing offline if we got we got confusing our damn sub online let alone just him he got it's confusing with him and we got you know he said the research is what too shit confused who doesn't research that dude don't research i just feel like with him being confusing and then the other part of our community online being full of confusion nothing's gonna change nobody's gonna take us serious so the people that are moving with me on my frequency i appreciate you i love you for it and let's keep on doing it that's what i gotta say about it. let's keep on doing it please be dialing these numbers though you feel me go to my page get some of that information off of there um you it's plenty of numbers up there so you can just Dial one number just to say that you help out your community. That's all. Yeah, it's a whole thing. He and see the thing about it too, what people not understand. And he also starves them. When you are starved, your brain is not getting what it needs, nutrients that it needs. So therefore, you cannot think with a sound mind. Okay. When you start someone, they're malnourished. That those things can happen where you're not thinking in the right mind. You feel? That's the reason why those men are over there getting beat up. All right, thank y'all so much for coming in today. I'm gonna um put this on. This is gonna be up on my YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, y'all, please stay away from the drama. There's no need to get into it at all. Do like I do. Stay away from the drama. I catch somebody right it right there straight for don't come to me with the drama don't put me in none of the drama I ain't got nothing to do with that for real you know I'm trying I'm I people be like they riding in their own lane I'm on the sidewalk I ain't even in the lane I'm on the sidewalk I ain't got time for it the authorities need to step in but the thing about it is I think the authorities they may have something to do with it you feel me but I think there's a the thing about them being able get it offline if they can cut me up i had pj max playing in the background because my granddaughter was watching it the other day they flagged my video for that but yet it's still you deal let a whole sex cult be online 
that's recruiting kids. You feel me? You said I will stay away. I just wanted you to know. Yeah, they really do. They, I, I understand what you're saying, Unity. I understand, but y'all enjoy the rest of your evening. I will be back tomorrow to kick more um numbers out. Hopefully, I got a couple of new numbers up there too. So, if y'all want to go up there, y'all can definitely go up there and find some of the numbers. Any of my videos has got the numbers in in the description. And it's tagged, so anything you can go right in there and you'll see the numbers. Any information, I got emails up there as well, so y'all can definitely do that. Yeah, he's been allowed to do that because everybody can't do the type of stuff that he's doing online. You can't do it's a lot of stuff you can't do online, and he's being allowed to. So that's the reason why I've been trying to reach out. And um, the people that I did reach out to. Like I said, I, I did like, I sent off like three different, um, three or four different e emails last night. So I'll be checking my emails and finding out what, you know, who else is going to hit me up. That's what I'm doing. If y'all know any other, um, big YouTubers that have a big platform that you may think may be on the same frequency as far as getting this taken down it's not to promote that's why i think a lot of people is thinking it's to promote to promote us i mean promote nature boy or easier but it's not to promote him we don't want to promote him that's why i don't talk about him like that only thing i want to do is to get this stuff taken down offline all right young adults because i think about it, it could be your auntie it could be your niece, your nephew, or whatever over there. I mean, it could be somebody's mama. I mean, look at Mama Dear. She went up and died. So it can be anybody. So this is, these are the things that we need to, to understand when we're sitting online. And it's, it's not all of us, but when we got people that are online that's bickering, and they got so many people, so many followers, you feel me? I wish I had as many people so I could spread some awareness to our people and wake some more people up. Because they got so many followers that they should be speaking to. They should be using their voice for. And it shouldn't be for the BS that they're using it for. It shouldn't. But okay, let me go ahead and get out of here, y'all. Y'all enjoy the rest of your night. I thank you so much for tuning in. Peace and blessings to everybody. I love you guys. And you guys enjoy your evening.